hello you all and welcome to my youtube channel again i actually started this video outside but i had to bring it inside because the noise just got too much for me it is labor day weekend here in new york city so everybody's home and everybody's out the neighbors are blasting their music and i just couldn't take it anymore so we're inside and we're going to finish our fall seed starting inside and the crops that I need to take outside, I will take them outside. Like I mentioned earlier, the video started outside and this was me preparing my seed started mix. Mixing that in with some water. You do want that soil moist but not soggy. I also save my seed starting containers or seedling containers for when I purchase seedlings at the store. As long as they're good, I wash them and put them away to the side. Once you've added your soil into them, you do want to press down so you don't have any air pockets, but you do not want to push down too hard because you don't want that soil compact. You want nice, loose, draining soil for your seeds. Once all of that is filled in, then you are ready to start planting your seeds. I've been looking for different ways and different practical measures and how I could store my seeds because they're falling up all over the place. This is an old binder I had already at home, so I'm using what I have. An old binder I had at home from my daughter's previous grade she was no longer using. So we just emptied out everything that was in that folder. And these are trading cards, uh, trading cards um, storage uh, sheets. So I purchased these and um, I love them because they're top loading so you load the seeds from the top and I think it's a really exciting way to store your seeds in here so it shows you the type of seeds that you have and on the back you can read everything about the seed while planting to take it out just such a great method so I'm so grateful for gardeners that come out here and share so far we have planted so far, I've planted the uh, onion. So the onion has been planted right there. Um, great way to use your um, aluminum foil. Next thing that I'm gonna be planting are my Dicisco broccoli. I love this broccoli in the garden. I share that with you all. And the seeds are extremely small. Really small look at the size of those seeds and each of these seeds has the potential to produce for you actually should produce for you that large broccoli that you buy at the store so I'm not going to um, make that deep of a hole um, because the smaller the seed the less deep of a hole that you need to make to plant I don't have gloves on because it's just easier for me to manage the seeds, especially with my nails. And I'm not getting rid of my nails because of, because of gardening. So, we be a cute gardener. So, we're going to do two seeds per hole. Two seeds per hole. To label this is the botanical interest and this is the dicisco and the day that I planted today is 831 and just slide it right in there so we have onions in these eight cells here and these are my Dicisco broccoli. I think I'm gonna do one more 
um, diced cisco broccoli so that I can share that as well. And your diced cisco broccoli is going to be 45 days seed to harvest. So great time to get these started and getting that germination process uh, started early. So the red acre cabbage is 75 days and the golden acre is 62 days. I love red cabbage. Red cabbages are my favorite. finish um, planting the rest of the seeds off camera and then I'll come and show you what to do with the seeds at the end. So in the process of planting off camera I realized that I didn't have enough soil so I had to head back outside and create some moist soil mix so I could head back inside again and finish my planting. I wanted to do this outside was to um, avoid all the mess in the house um, so um, but that didn't work so now we're here we're gonna do this so we're gonna finish this process
Okay guys, I am so, so, so excited because this is the first year I am on top of my game, getting my fall seat started in a timely manner, and I am looking forward to enjoying these harvests before my first frost date. Right here, you will just see me spraying the seeds with some water. This is just to make contact with the seeds, soil, and water, which of course we know is needed for growth. Next, after I'm done with this, I am going to move these seed trays to my mud room where they will stay until they germinate. Once they germinate, they are going outside. So I have this shelf in my mud room. I typically use it for my plants and seed germination and things like that. I am sprinkling that with some vermiculite which will allow for moisture retention and that green whiter stuff that you sometimes see on soil. The vermiculite is good for that. I also have a recycled garbage bag in my hand that I've cut up and I will be using that as a moisture controlled environment. So I don't have a dome that is big enough to cover all these seedlings. So I decided to get creative this year and create something like a moisture controlled environment and i will continue to check on it daily to make sure that these seedlings are doing okay checking on my seedlings so this is a three-day germination rate the fastest that i've ever seen I hope you all enjoyed watching this video with me. I look forward to sharing more with you about my fall gardening. Don't forget to like, don't forget to follow, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.